Welcome to my office. National Lottery Campaign 2009 is over. Uh, the Kingdom Dock One Track was probably the major project that we accomplished last year as far as what I had intended to do for three or four years. The office is now clean and uh, I really am looking forward to moving on and starting some work. I wanted to give you an update about what this group of people did last year. Very, very proud of them. Uh, it's amazing with this group, you know, Justin's group there, they started coming to Bible studies and learning, going to school, telling people about Jesus. Dragos is going to be providing some leadership for us this year. We go through here, Justin did a great job. We've got uh, these three guys here did a lot of, Marius and Costell and Mihai did a lot of great work with Mihai, especially with Randy and Teresa. We have uh, had a deaf ministry that we worked with there for a while. We saw uh, some of our girls baptized. Uh, Vivi was baptized, Florina, Daniela, uh, the oldest sister had already been baptized, Andrea was baptized, uh, we see her sister Gabriella, my wife Carla, uh, Violetta and Madalena there had been baptized in the past, Tiprian followed them, and so we were really pleased with what happened last year. I wanted to give a little bit of an update. Or, uh, what did happen in 2009, what we're looking for in 2010, I'll post a different one for 2010. Yeah, I'll be a little bit like Barack Obama here, I'll be reading from my prompter. We uh, really enjoyed the trumpet calls, probably witnessed over a thousand people in the streets of Brelia and Galatz. And uh, that North Greenville University team was a great find for us, uh, they did an awesome job. We had a transplant group that went to Brelia. Uh, we, we took some of our people, four or five, we went to Brelia, and we were able to um, work with a team of follow-up, uh, a list of names that we were given from the 300-member choir and the clinic that came, and Domino Stefan came from that. Plus, we learned how to do work as a team on outreach. It was really good. We went through the entire Old Testament, slide by slide, out of that Kingdom Doctrine track. Uh, we had people baptized. I mentioned that. We had Cyprian. Andrea, Florina, Gabriella, we had Graziella from the Valley was baptized. Uh, we saw Vivi's mother and her parents and some of her friends making some pretty strong moves towards Christ under the uh, preaching of Pastor Obi, who did an awesome job this year, showed me a lot of grace, and I appreciate that. We really start 2010 with a strong relationship there. I hope it gets better. Uh, Bogdan and Paul have done a great job down there. Uh, Paula led a Bible study in a, in a house we call Resbon's house, and um, it, it ended up with Graziella being baptized and two or three other believers coming out of there, I think. Resbon returned from prison here in a month, and we're hoping for good things there. Bogdan had a men's group for a while, did a good job with that. Um, we're, we're praying for him that God will use him in a big way in 2010. Uh, Liliana moved into uh, Bethesda. Justin and I started witnessing to her, Yulia, and some others, and we really uh, see her make a strong move to Christ. We're able to put her up in an apartment. She's basically homeless with three children. Help from the States came a little bit. Uh, she's coming to church, and, and I really I think she'll stick with us this year. I, I really pray she will. Uh, Dragos's group of young men, we're so excited when we see young Romanian men get on fire for Jesus and the Word. They're, they're in there studying. They're, they're trying. They're young guys. Uh, we allow them to make all kinds of mistakes in the name of Jesus because we want to see them follow Christ uh, in, the, in the future. And they really are an asset that we can't afford to lose. Philip did a great job leadership there. Dragos, Justin. Um, um, Claudio, Emmy, uh, just it's really a neat group of guys. I, I pray that Lord will really shape them this year, teach them a little bit of holiness, a little bit of self-discipline. Costell went to his uh, village twice and tried to reach it with Christ, once with the King of Doctrine Track, once with a film about uh, the testimony of Jesus, did a great job. Um, we had met Randy and Teresa here who were doing pure and undefiled religion, did a great job, worked too hard, got out ahead of my leadership, and I uh, mentioned that, but we sure thank the Lord for, for bringing them to Galatz, the work they did. We pray he'll continue that work in Bucharest through them. Uh, they have a great heart to serve their Lord and, uh, and not man, which I appreciate. So I uh, pray for Randy and Teresa down there in Bucharest. Um, Marius did some evangelism at his school, did the lessons. He's been growing, trying to learn some Romanian, as well as Coast Dell with the Cane Creek Stoddard team. Uh, Matt Tanner came and spoke, started speaking English to Coast Dell, and by the end of the week, they had had an incredible time. Yulia mentioned that David Groves, when he came, uh, it was the highlight of her entire year. Some of the theology he shared with her and the time he spent with her uh, out doing the trumpet calls, 
uh, ended up being one of the most special moments of the year for her. So praise the Lord for uh, International Gospel Outreach and their ministry. And we also, to the pastors, Pastor Narches, Pastor T.T., Pastor Obi, just uh, our heroes. They, they really are incredible men of God. They're serving with all their heart. We look forward to what God will do in the uh, upcoming year. But we're, we're thankful for 2009, thankful for the Lord's mercy. Uh, family update, Robert will be leaving to Liberty University here in about nine days. Uh, Andrew and Katie just got back from an AMK retreat in Germany in which they'll be fired up spiritually and ready for school. Uh, we'll, I will be learning language, Carla will be learning language, and uh, we, we just thank the Lord for His mercies. Uh, thank Him for the opportunity to serve uh, Southern Baptist and, and build His kingdom. And uh, we ask that you'll pray for us. We're going to keep you more informed this year how to pray for us. Last year was a little tough, and we need more prayer support. So I'd appreciate if you would do that for us and uh, follow our ministry and lift us in prayer. God bless you guys. Have a great 2010.